I'm Derek Hyde in Buffalo, treating you to not your average cocktail making competition. From the way the drinks are poured to the crowd enjoying them, this may look like any weekend bar in western New York. I think it's just people making different life choices. The difference is that not one of these creative cocktails has a single drop of alcohol. Tony Riles with Waxlight Bar of Vin on Chandler Street has noticed a major change in what his customers are buying every night. 10, 15%. Nightly is non-alcoholic drinks now. Over the past few years, his menu of mocktails has grown, so people abstaining from drinking can have something other than water or pop. Especially in the past year, it's really seemed to have exploded in, in, in popularity in general. I think it's important, again, to show that you can still go out, have be a part of nightlife, uh, be with, with and surrounding friends, I guess, uh, that are drinking and you can be sober. So Tony built a competition around it. Heidi Keller was representing one of five different local businesses competing for the title of best mocktail in the area. We want to be able to make everyone at the restaurant happy. After voting by the dozens of guests, general manager of Oliver's Restaurant on Delaware Avenue, Mike Ciancio, made a pineapple drink that took home the title of best alcohol-free drink in show. It's a huge trend, obviously, in the market right now. You know, it's important for us to, to, again, just make the guests feel something special, whether it's, you know, food or beverage or whatever it may be. Opening the door for even more alcohol-free options in the future. We can do more drinks that are just solely non-alcoholic. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Buffalo.